All right, you got the intake on the dual plane air gap. Um, I haven't shortened up any of these lines yet. I want to get it cranked, make sure everything's going to be good first before I go and shorten it. And for some weird reason, I can't use this intake. I don't see why I won't be able to, but I just think about that kind of stuff. I guess it's my ADD. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be running this spacer, this tapered combo upside down because all the videos that I've seen, um, it does good with it upside down. Now, now being that I cut a divider in the in the uh, intake uh, plenum wall, I don't know how that's going to affect, but I'm going to try it. It's worth a shot. It's got to be better than what I had, so I think I'll be uh, I think I'll be okay. And just like that, she's done and on, on and done. <laughs> uh, just filled it up with water. No leaks so far. Uh, water is water level is holding, so that means I guess it means I have no leaks on the intake. I'm going to let it sit overnight and let the silicone dry and go from there. I figure it was best to do this on a weekend anyway, so uh, I don't have to rush it. Although it took me about two and a half hours from coming home, shutting it off, from driving it to work. The engine was hot, so that sucked, but uh, yeah, not too bad. doesn't help that it's like 92 outside right now. And I had to do it in the sun, but I did have my fan, so... Anyways, hopefully everything turns out. Alright, she's fired up with the dual plane, no leaks. I can tell you what, it's rich now, I'm gonna have to jet it down. Shoot, just giving it a little throttle off idle, it goes to 10, so. It's alright, I'll get it jetted down, it ain't no big deal. I just wanna make sure I ain't got no leaks, still got good oil pressure. Vacuum's still holding good at idle. changing the oil in this thing because whenever I took that intake off the single plane uh, a little bit of wool, uh, coolant kind of dripped down in the intake valley left their valley and kind of went down to the bottom of the pan and a little bit more than I would like got down there so I'm gonna go ahead and change it um, I got the old oil drained out so now I'm fixing to dip this and put it in there and uh, put the new oil in or I already got new oil in but I did get some uh, that is cheap oil but I put the zinc additive whatever I did with it um, actually let me get it because I'll show you what I use I was looking for the Rotella which has already got zinc in it here it is uh, the zinc uh, I like using the Rotella uh, diesel oil because it's got sorry because it's got uh, zinc already in it or some zinc they say but I always add this no matter what just to make sure that I know it's getting in there and um, should be protected alright so I'm going from 70s and 84s which is what I had on the single plane now that I have the dual plane I'm going to go probably 68s or 69s in like 82s or 80s and just see where that puts me um i also went bigger on my low speed idle air bleeds and uh i made my uh, uh power valve restrictor channels bigger so i can run less jet to get a little bit leaner cruise if that makes sense um and it seemed to work out pretty good
it in the driveway. got back from a couple of rips and it's good actually surprisingly I went down on the jet sets uh, that amount from 70 to 68 in the front and from 84 to 80s in the back and the air feels like 12 5 ish at full throttle and it's cruising at like um, 13 and a half to 14 uh, I, I did see it dip down to like in the 12s like 12 8 one time but uh, not a big deal. I'm cool with that. <clears throat> I guess what I'll do whenever I do make it back to the track or get a chance to do some draggy testing, I'll um, play with the jet in a little bit too, depending on, you know, everything's different with slicks on it because it actually loads the motor down versus having street tires that just lets it spin. So, uh, really, you really don't get the true story until it's the motor's under a full load, like with slicks on the car. So... But it's definitely got a lot more uh, like 2000 or 1500 to like 3500 and I feel like it maybe took a slight bit out of the top end but not a lot at all not enough to worry about so I think that's going to help this thing get moving on the 60 foot <laughs> 